lounging, son. All right, welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name's Ryan. With me again, I got my boy Mario here with me. What's up, everybody? And we're going to go through the David Mazzuchelli Daredevil Born Again Artist Edition. I'm very stoked to go through this. One of my favorite Daredevil It's a very obscure Daredevil book. You guys might have heard of it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's definitely one of my favorite stories. I mean, I love Frank Miller's run where he illustrates it, but David Mazzuchelli, like what he does here, like I think this comes after Batman Year One, right? I think so. I don't remember. I, the dates. I haven't thought about the. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not wrong. Um, but yeah, so they're reuniting on this or doing this before. Either way, it doesn't matter. It's a good story. Like, what is this right here? Is that like a? I feel like that's like it's a. Like, it's Braille. Like this wasn't on the cover though, right? I no. think that's interesting that they they added this Braille. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's part of the like the edition of the hardcover or if it's. Yeah. There's a mark here you can see that's part of like the actual page. Yeah. Not sure. White out over here. Yeah. Well, it's always the coolest part seeing where like they they fix certain panels and fix areas. I love the co- like coffee stains and shit in the borders yeah. and the outside. Yeah, like, there were, in the John Romita one, there was a lot of coffee stains all yeah. over his fucking. Yeah. I think in the Kirby uh, one as well, there's a lot in his. Yeah, you can see right here all the white. Some I white love streets. the tension that he puts in the in the phone wires, dude. The smoke and shit. Yeah. yeah. The artist editions that IDW puts out, like Scott Dunbeer, I believe, is the one behind it that kind of started all, all of these. If I'm, yeah, edited by Scott Dunbeer. So I think he also, at one point, worked for Wildstorm. I think he's the guy that started the Absolute Editions also. Mm. And, I mean, I think it's just cool to, like, this is, like, his project, right? Like, not just this book, but getting the artist editions out, collecting the art from people. Yeah. Yeah, posting. I mean, some of them have been an endeavor because some of them got sold off. Yeah. And so they had to track down the artist, the, the, each page, and then see if they can borrow it. I feel like Jim Lee's the... X-Men, a lot of that was that way. Yeah, I had to track it down and then borrow it from the end user, whoever ended up having it, and then scanning it in. Love that they de- that David was a chili dedicated to his father. Yeah. God, this is so good. Yeah. Blame Frank Miller. That's how he starts it off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love that he. I, I love that like, even though Frank Miller wrote this, this all these books are from the artist, right? Like even though we went through the right. Mark Wade, Chris Omni, Daredevil, like I think Mark Wade wrote an intro to that, actually. But I think it's cool that the, all of it, all the shine is on the artist for the book. It's yeah. not, you know, like yes, there is a writer that's a part of it, but you know, this is all about the yeah. artist and looking at what they did and their contribution to the book. And also seeing a bunch of pages that otherwise you'd never see because they're worth. Yeah, a there's no way in fucking hell I get four of these pages, yeah. yeah. I think what also is different in terms of, like, the artist editions that we got is not only, not always are we getting just a full story. Sometimes it's spread out. You'll get a two-arc two, two arc story. I think, like, that that was evident with uh, the Romita and the Somni. I'm pretty sure the Frank Miller artist edition that's coming out this year uh, is going to be the same thing. But, like, we get, it's just consecutive issues here. It's 227 through 233, the entire story arc. I think that's... A testament to them being able to get all yeah. the pages. I mean, unless there's some missing, which I don't think there is. Um, I mean, this is an iconic cover right here. I love that this is where the corner box, the paste up for the corner box, and the and the logo goes. And with some of these, you have these kinds of pages. And the layover yeah. for the cover. Yeah, that's dope. See, like they don't spare any expense in making these, dude. The production quality on here is fucking insane yeah i love that you can just see the page yeah the condition of the actual page i wonder why they're all cut off in the corner too i wonder what that's about not yeah. all of them i guess not all of them are but like I imagine they just get frayed and they just cut it off so yeah. it doesn't stick out so yeah this is this this is the story arc where kingpin just goes full-blown getting matt murdoch and he just yeah. breaks him down mm-hmm. he learned is this the i believe it's the story where he learns his identity yeah. too, well, right? that's what uh, karen yeah. page is selling over there in yeah. the last which is crazy because this this spins off for the rest of his fucking existence. Yeah, I mean Karen Page at this point is a fucking junkie. Yeah, heroin addict and stuff. So that's <laughs> so what is, what does she have that's worth any value? She's not so, not just selling her body anymore. Now she's selling information. Yeah, Matt Murdock's identity to his arch enemy, which still to this day I think is hilarious that he started as a Spider Man villain, but nobody thinks of him as a Spider Man villain. He's only a Daredevil villain now at this point. Just the towering. Look at that. Huge. Like, he doesn't just look like... He doesn't look fat. He just looks huge. Yeah. 
Yeah, look how good it looks. I know. It's just crazy when you still look at it now and... And the screen tones over. How good it looks, even all these years later. No, nah, this dude was a like a master of his craft, you know, like... Which is crazy. I think people are just kind of emulating this all these years later. So somebody breaks into... This is Foggy's place, right? Yeah. He took everything. Yeah, I love these... Because it, it's just so much effort in this. Nowadays, there's like a lot of overlays and you can digitize things and kind of add it on there. But in these days, it was all... Each one of those is done by hand. Yeah, look, the snow. Yeah, effect. all yeah. of it's just... A lot the level of, of detail, like... I mean, think about how much easier it is now to just add that all kind of, of this, stuff in. Some of the stuff people have building references, they'll drop them in there and kind of draw over them. Well, you know, they'll just use the same kind of patterns for the exterior, but now... This is all done, each individual panel. Yeah. Every time there's an outside shot. I mean, it's interesting, too, because, like, he inks himself, right? I believe. I think so. Yeah, I mean, it's the only letters. Yeah. So, yeah, I think the... Yeah, so, like, look, there's, like... I mean, obviously, this is after having cleaned it up, right, from the pencils, but the art, this original art just looks so clean. Like, yeah. there's very few errors on here. A little bit of white out you'll see, like, on the lampshade. But for the most part, like... Just impeccable. Yeah, I mean, look at that. God, yeah. it's gorgeous. I love the lettering in here too. The lettering in this when it switches over to him, like a like almost like an old typewriter type thing. Yeah. Yeah, we see more of these guys in the external mm -hmm. shots. It's this one saw about earlier. Yeah. Leaping through the city, through the buildings. This effect too, like the. God. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah. I love I love these kind of shots. Where he's, Kind of extending his arms out and reaching out for something. Mm -hmm. A lot of that. Yeah, because that's the thing with Daredevil too. Like, it, it really not every artist does that, but yeah. he there's a gracefulness to to him. They really sell the that he's an acrobat. Yeah, it's not just like I like how, and I think that's why Daredevil and Spider Man's friends works a lot too, because they're both kind of the same. Except Spider Man has his own like McFarlane esque contortion, but his is more like it's all about smoothness because he doesn't have powers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he's feeling it. Yeah. More so, especially since he's he's since blind. He's blind so yeah. it's like his other senses are heightened, and that's where he gets most of his. I think that's where the the fluidity of his movement. I love this though, dude. The smoke coming out, and how it's kind of, it's still overlapping him. The texture of it yeah. is insane. I've always liked this too. Like just that the way he's leaning. The there's cockiness. always there's yeah. There's always a cockiness to him. I like when they also have him swinging with a smile. Yeah, there's like a he, he's cocky. He's like a swashbuckler too. Like yeah. I mean, that was evident in like Mark Wade's run that I felt was missing for a long time. Like they didn't really like lean into that during like a uh, Bendis, and then after that, Brubaker, you know. And then he, especially like well, no, then it's Andy Diggle, right? After that, yeah. And then when Wade takes over, and it was like and he goes back to it and being not depressed anymore. Yeah, moving to San Francisco, stuff like that. But you know, I digress. But look, I mean, just the level of detail. I think especially at this time, I, this. I don't think that every single comic was putting this type of effort into the backgrounds. You know, like there were certain artists that would, but like you look at some of the comics, you know, from the the 80s or early 90s and it's just like no background. It's minimal. It's just yeah. the character work. In some ways, sometimes you can get away with it here. That's fine. About, it's because it's more about how dynamic the motion, motion is here. Yeah. But then look at this panel. So it's in the here, the table, all that's still detailed out. I mean, look at them in the scene over here we were talking about. Like, how fucking detailed that is. Mm -hmm. And this dude's making the call to somebody. The sound effects. Yeah. Which I feel like Somni really uh, played a big role with that in his run. It's just, it's just crazy to me, too, to think about Daredevil. This set the precedent for Daredevil for so long. I mean, look, they're the Disney Plus that's bringing, you know, Charlie Born Contract again. is doing Born Again. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I mean, hopefully they don't. They, I know Marvel has a good track record, but... Let's be let's be real. Sometimes they take storylines and they don't exactly right, adapt not, it the way. Or it has nothing to do with the storyline. Yeah, and they're just using the name. Like yeah. hopefully they this is a deconstruction of Matt Murdock and breaking him down. I know there's no Karen Page, so like, how are we gonna have that? Yeah. In the show, because like that's a main thing in the story. Like that's how King can learn who he is. Look at that. Look at the look in Foggy's eyes right there, dude. You see the fucking fear in his eyes. Now I wonder if this was an effect like. Or if it just yellowed, cause it, oh no, this is a paste up. So I wonder if he was using like the duo, uh, duo shade boards 
for this to get that effect because I know when you would add the chemicals to the paper, it would give like these lines off. Like that's kind of like the like Ninja Turtles and stuff did, and like that would make sense why he was using this as an overlay on top of the Bristol board. You know, because it's he's just using a piece of the paper, like a chunk, and then putting it over top is. You definitely can't tell, like what we're reading. I just like the, the little notes here. Just making sure when it actually gets printed, it does not. I love this dude. Next few weeks go poorly for Matt Murdock. He writhes like a fly in a spider's web. My web thinks the kingpin. So carefully woven, so neatly placed. I mean, kingpin is just maniacal, dude. The smoke looks really good. Mm-hmm. Anybody that knows, and then anybody that knows who Matt Murdock is, they, he wants them to die. I love this dude. Look at this. A rift inside him, a wedge. He's steadily driving him insane, and you can just feel like the smugness in yeah. him. And I love that they black out the eyes. It gives him a more menacing look, I think, like over here, too. Yeah. It's interesting. Look at all these notes for the, with the three dots. What does it say over there? Delete and respace. Hair 42 or 43. So saying the color of the hair. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I love the notes. A little insight on the process. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Th and things just start heating up for him, dude. Like, the, yeah. just one thing after another. And then his fucking... The law offices fucking explode. Look at... I mean... This, though. Yeah. The reflection in his fucking glasses, dude. Yeah. What a great fucking panel. It's also tearing off the mm -hmm. panel. And you can see it continuing here with the reflections. Mm-hmm. The tears rolling down his face. Yeah. The terrible costumes fucking burned. You see, like, look, the braille's right there, but this is, this is not raised. No, this is also 2007. Yeah. How different his art looks compared to this. Yeah. You know? okay. Continuing the theme of it being broken. I love that he actually tears the fucking board here. Like, that's interesting that he did that. To really sell it off. Yeah. Wrong it in. I forgot who I was talking to. I was talking to somebody recently, and they said, like, Oh, my buddy, my buddy, uh, Sam J. Royale, we were talking, and he, uh, for his comic that he produced, he wanted to get, like, the torn effect, but he was worried it wouldn't tear exactly how it did, so he tore it digitally. Oh, uh, huh. But, like, look, I mean, he can't can't do that, so, you like, that's yeah, crazy. Like, like, that did he back just back. let it rip where it was and then drew over it? Because, and because that's what it seems like to me. Like, he ripped it all, right? Put pasted it, it on, and then he whites out certain parts, like, not right there, but um, like up there, right? So like he drew over it, and he didn't instead of just drawing the piece out and then ripping it. So I think that's interesting, and I love how we keep seeing this shot. Don't we keep seeing this throughout this entire? I feel like this is almost it's, in a region. Yeah, just just kind down. of checking in on his yeah. situation from his top down shot. Yeah. It's whited out on the colors. Oh, it must have been misspelled. They misspelled his fucking name. It's right there, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. You know, it would be cool to see, like, the dates on this. Yeah, there was like, one. Some of them have it. Yeah. Just, like, to see, like... Because remember, I think we saw that, too, with the other one where mm -hmm. you could see the pages are drawn out of order. Yeah. I just love this, dude. Like, oh, that, was his, that wasn't his... Uh, that wasn't his uh, law office. That was his, his apartment. That's what got blown up. Because, like, that, that's right. Because he's in a hotel. That's why it's all fucking broken down and it's a freaking reflection of what his life is becoming which right. is br just completely breaking but he smells like rat hair I'd much rather stay with a friend just the frank miller's dialogue in here dude is you see this i love this i love this page so you get the you get three different angles of them you get them from behind you get them from the side with the side profile and this then the so close up right yeah i think this arc more than anything made kingpin a more terrifying villain I don't know. I think this is the most menacing he looks up until this point. I don't really think like well, Miller drew him well, but I don't. I don't think it's the same like effect as how like Mazzuchelli and then eventually Bill Sinkevich when right. he does no, with yeah, him. Like, like that's fucking insane. From like the Spider Verse. Yeah, the of... Spider Verse. Yeah. Yeah. God, look at this detail in the grip. Mm -hmm. no. it's so good. I can't remember. So is he? Did he really do it? No. 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 This is him imagining it, right? Yeah. Because yeah, he dozed off. Yeah. He's just angry. And he wants to kill him. Glory, uh, Foggy's wife on the phone. Who, like, you don't even know what Matt's saying, right? Like, she's just saying, don't say such things. And then Foggy gets on, and then he hangs up. The devil is wrong with him. <laughs> yeah. And he glasses again. Building the tension. He has no idea who's after him. 
Sounds and smells just like the kind of phlegmy cigar smoking pig who'd run a dive like this. <laughs> he fucking chokes him out. Yeah, yeah it's simple. Very simple. Yeah. Look how effective it is. Yeah, and there's a lot of these scenes are showing, like you were saying, he, he's fat, but it doesn't come off as fat. He's no. just fucking huge. Yeah. Look at him, dude. I mean, how much fucking weight is he bench pressing, dude? Like, he's a strong motherfucker. And I, I love how, like, he's, he's the whole time, dude, he's, he's calm. He's fucking doing what he wants. He's kind of toying with, with Matt at this point, right, to take him down because he doesn't want it to be quick. He very easily could go to him and kill him, right, knowing where he lived. Doing all that kind of stuff, yeah. but there's there's a method to he his madness. He doesn't want to just kill him. He, he wants, wants to, to savor it, like ruin him. Yeah. I mean, just adding just something as simple as like adding the stubble to his face. Yeah. Just showing him more and more disheveled yeah. every time you yeah. see him. I love this though. There goes that cockiness in his face. He's yeah. got a gun to his head. He knows it. He doesn't he even just flinch. Fucks him up. Yeah. So that's one of the things I love about Mazzucchelli too. From with this book, Batman Year One, like his choreography and his fighting. Stuff is really dope. Yeah. It really tells the story of what's happening. Murdoch, he says, I said, a man repossessed. He's just lost his, lost his fucking mind, dude. He's just angry over here. He starts fucking up a cop. Yeah. Could not dream of a more perfect hell. I envy you. You blessed little worm. You have witnessed the death of a noble man. The pleasures of his coming attack will be nothing compared to this. Think he's, and then his fucking henchman, you think he's coming here? I know it. He doesn't even care, dude. The little beads of sweat. Yeah. Like, how good is that? Little Karen. This fucking character has been put through shit. Yeah. You know? I mean, eventually, like, her dying, too. Yeah. I was in the so sad. That's one. Yeah. I love that they're, like, an important Karen page story would be, like, Daredevil Year, uh, Yellow. Daredevil Yellow. I love that they're doing a gallery edition of that. Oh, an they? oversized hardcover. So they're doing that. They're doing Spider Man Blue. Nice. I'm probably going to have to double dip and get those and get rid of my omnibus because, like, I, I got to see that stuff. I love Tim Sale, so. Yeah. Yeah, and, the and, art, that and that's just beautiful. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Tim Sale needs an artist edition, for fuck's yeah. sake. So, Scott Dunbeer, if you're listening to this, <laughs> hook us up, dude. There you go. Here's the confrontation. <laughs> looks like, he just looks like a fucking sumo wrestler. A yeah. fucking, it looks like he's wearing a fucking diaper, dude. He, does. Well, he just takes it. Just yeah. fucking straight to the gut and yeah. nothing. Fap. That sounds like that. He knew he was coming. Look. Doesn't give a shit. And then while this is all happening, Karen is just... She's all kinds of fucked yeah. up. Shakes are coming again. She'd throw up if there was anything in her stomach. Oh, man. How did she get started on the junk? How did she get here? The writing of that is like... As somebody that has gone through addiction, like... That's... Perfect dialogue. And then the picture, dude. Look at her hands, dude. You can see how frail she is. Yeah, she's all skinny and there's just, yeah. like no weight on her. But just the fingers, like even the fingers looking all skinny and stuff, you know? It's tore back, dude. There it is. There Where's we go. Fucking there fight? We are. Damn, like it bends that shit around his fucking face. And it just keeps going. See, like that's... That- that's what I love about it too. Because like his-, his legs look a little fat, but like they look firm. And his stomach just, like, it looks fat, again, but it just, it looks very, like, they like, didn't really rock go with hard. The, the design you know? that he's... Yeah, his fat. arms he are fucking fat. muscular. The muscles in his back. Yeah. No, it just make him look solid. He doesn't yeah. look fat. Yeah, exactly. He's just a wall of fucking hate. Never give up, never. Boom. Pause. Yeah. Just fucking lays his ass out, dude. Nobody's given Matt a beating like Kingpin. Before or after. The beating he takes from him is like... Oh, here we go. This is that fucking... Oh, man. This is the duo... I think this is the duo shape boards. I feel like... Or it's the screen tones laid over. I love this effect on, on the old comics. They don't do that anymore. They do it a little bit. I remember um, the uh, the Bendis stuff when it cuts... But it was the one with that old boss gets out of prison and he finds out that Matt Murdock was there the whole time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like the MGH and exposes his heart. When they cut back to the old time when he was young, they added that effect. But it's at that point Malib was using digital. Yeah. It's digital effects. I mean, yeah, I think some do it digitally, but I don't know. You can. It's not the same. No. You know? Look at this. You fucking smug motherfucker right here, dude. Triumph. 
There's he, Morgan. He just says there's no corpse. There's no corpse. So where's Matt at this point? We have no fucking idea. Boom, there he is, dude. Look at that he's, page. He's fucked up in the shovel. That's interesting. So he... It says damnation here. Instead of... So I'm assuming that's what the title of the next chapter should have been. was damnation, not pariah. I love Daredevil. There's one of my favorite characters. It's an iconic cover. Look at that, dude. Oh, oh, look at that, look at that. <laughs> Crazy, dude. That's so cool. I love that they have those overlays like that. Yeah, dude. 9th April, 1986. And then you can see the... the, the I, think, I, I feel like that's what it is, because that's what the chemical is on the paper, I'm assuming, to get that effect. Maybe that's the glue. If he's using the actual screen tones and just adding it to the top of the art, I'm not sure. I love this, too, because he's all fucked up, right? Talking about... And then you could get his origin. Yeah. Very briefly, though. Like, it's not it's not a lot, but you have him saving the old man. I was just trying to remember where he came from. There's the jar with the Ninja Turtles in it, dude. <laughs> Some, if I saw this in a comic nowadays, I might get mad. The wall of text. Mm. But I get it. I get it here, you know? Because he is blind. He's not seeing anything. He's laying there, his blood burning, everything hurts, doesn't know where he is. And then you just keep... We, I think we just keep panning out. Yeah. And then all the words coming up, this is his, uh, his... He's hearing his dad's voice. He just wants to die, writhing and screaming. Oh, my God, dude. I don't think you've, we've ever seen a hero brought down like this. Yeah, and this is before, you know. Yeah, and this is before um, Batman's whole thing with um, in the nineties. Mm -hmm. This is way before any of that. Yeah, but I think even then it's like it's not quite the same. This wasn't as it was psychological that he was t taken down, but like this was so quick. That was like that led up right, like Batman, like you know, I think he, I, th I think at one point he takes the Bane venom right, and then like. He starts like slowly like losing his shit, and then he gets his back broken, and then having to come back out. But that's years. We're on the third chapter, <laughs> and he's already fucked. You know? And uh, again, the same yeah. angle, right? The same thing. He's laying down. He's now he's in the fetal position. How yellow this page is, dude. But see that you can tell. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You can tell that the pa this this uh this particular paper is not Bristol board because you can see the texture in it. So this is where he, you can add it and you get those gray tones instead of like coloring it, you know? It's fucking dude, how awesome. much fucking detail is in this page? Yeah, look at this right here, dude. Like what is he doing to get that effect? Is the whole page like, it almost looks like everything's black and he's adding white to it. Yeah, I think with this he did. It was, it's all kind of white out on top of black. It's just like, look at that. It's only like, like that's... Just the frame. That's the... That's so the the cutout stuff where he cuts it out and lays it over like to give that effect right the snow yeah well also to turn it into yeah. night I think yeah I said Phil Yurik it was Ben Yurik I don't know what I called him Phil I, he's like one of my favorite side characters in Marvel yeah and he hasn't even been utilized in I was, about, I was just years. thinking of that right now cause he was great in and all Bendis the Bendis and stuff yeah he's like to but me he's, he's such an important being character around cause yeah. he, was in, he was in Pulse and those, all that, that um, Jessica Jones stuff yeah. that came after that with Bendis. Mm -hmm. But then he just disappeared. Yeah, it's a shame. He's not really around anymore. They don't really know what to do with him. Because it, there aren't that many books that have that tone, whether you would have someone that works in the news talking about I know, I'd buy a book. ground level. I know I'd buy a book like that, but I feel like, yeah, it doesn't sell. People that's don't why really want that anymore. Yeah. This Look, this one was cut out, drawn on something else. Stat down... I forgot what this says, but this, yeah, and paste here. So he's giving the direction of where that is going. You get Karen again. Just completely fucked. On the streets. Some fucking homeless dude. Robbing a fucking blind man. He's just desperate. Yeah. So was Matt. Gets hit by a fucking car. Look at him, dude. Just keep driving, man. Who needs the grief? We got Turk over here. He's a character that like is constantly an informant for yep. for Daredevil. Even going, especially in Bendis' run, he was very yep. prevalent in that. He's also in the uh, the shows, the, the Netflix ones. Yeah, it's funny. He has no idea that that's Daredevil either. As he's fucking uh. punch him in the in the gut. Oh yeah, she's a porn star too, right? Yeah, she does one. That's yeah. right. Okay, I thought she was just a hooker, but real fan of your movies. And she's like, I need. I can see what you need. Oh, yeah. 
So, oh yeah, she's not even in America at this point. I didn't. Even, I don't remember that dude now. So she needs. She needs a ride back to America and some junk. Whatever it takes. Look at that. Just no self worth. And you can see it in that face right there. And he backs her up. Some random dude that's gonna fucking get her home. It's Look gorgeous. What a great panel, dude. Hey, all that brick. Yeah. Love this. Worst neighborhood of Manhattan. Good place to get killed. I was born here. Foggy's having an affair right here, right? I think so. Yeah. That word started, yeah. Yeah. Fog was a gym. He goes back to where that's when he was, and that's also why they set up the idea that he's thinking about where he came from. Yeah. Just to get back and rebuild from the start. I love this. Look at the look at what's happening. He's fucking hitting the punchy bag. Karen's fucking doing what she's doing with this fucking dude and her fucking shit right there. And fucking Matt just laying out and what do we get? And this is cool. there's, this there's no reason to not spoil this, but that that's his fucking mom. Yeah. And that's something that's always prevalent, obviously, in Daredevil is his Catholicism, right? Yeah. Catholic guilt. Yep. Jesus. Dude, how that. much do you think that page cost? This point? <laughs> that page probably cost probably cost nothing when the person bought it. Yeah. But I guarantee now that it's become so iconic. Have ten grand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd say more probably. Twenty grand? Something like that? So look, he thought he murdered Matt. Now he's coming to the realization that he hasn't. It's a man without fear. A man without hope is a man without fear. Dope. We got the overlay over here. So this is just a recap of what we already already watched. Again, him laying down, but yeah. now he's healing. So now he's this is this is the redemption for him. Yeah. Like over here, you show him. Yeah. Fucking up a bunch of martial arts people. Training, dude. He's getting ready because he knows it's inevitable. With round two. Matt's coming back. Karen's got back in America now. Assuming Matt will save her even though she's the one that fucking put him in the situation. Yeah. Just a figure where, I mean, like, the scene, it's just nothing. It's just, just people. But it's so good. A close-up of his eye. And then just the black. The lesson he learned from his father. Everything else in his life is gone. Except the lesson. To never give up. That's dope. Locate Nuke. So Nuke's about to make a, yeah. an appearance. I think in the next issue. Love that while he's laying, he's healing. He can hear all the sounds. Like that's something I've always really liked about him. He, like he can't ever turn, turn it, it off. off. It's always there. Yeah. Like she doesn't even realize that this is, or he doesn't even realize. He that doesn't know that. Yeah, I think she does. She does. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. He realizes he's in a church. He's gotta gotta get away from these smells with all the winos. Karen's about to make her fucking uh, escape from this dude, I'm assuming, right here. She's trying to get in contact. Yeah. Trying to figure out. No, that she's in the U.S., I think. Poor Karen gets in contact with fucking Foggy. Jesus. This is dope. Oh, that's so good. Even the Daily Bugle there. I love this fucking shot of Jonah. Yeah. Like, you don't see him full on, really. You know, just in shadow. But and In contrast to the rest of the panels. They have fucking Karen getting abused against that guy. Yeah, dude, she gets herself in a shitty situation, just after, one after another, you know? Like, yeah. her life is complete shit. Yeah, look at that. Just big old black of black. Yeah, this is just... So great. Look at the, the way he fucking shows her fucking beaten eye. Yeah. All black and stuff. Panel is cut out. I'm add it on. Have lines match. Please make sure triangle is clearly seen. Add white. What are you talking about? We're trying to... Oh, oh this. Oh, yeah. yeah. Put the cross. Yeah, yeah. God, look at this page. Yeah. I love how he asked, though. He's like, are you my mother? Of course not, child. A heartbeat can tell you a lot. Hers just jumped. He's lying. A little bit more posit positive shit's coming back to him, you know? Yeah. Dope cover. Dude. That God, that's so good. Yeah. Who's that training again? Yeah. Yeah, it is. fucking... I know. So good. I love that he, you know, like this, get, he gets broken down and then builds himself back up. That's like the, I mean, that's the gist of this storyline, you know? it's Yes, there's other shit going on, but it's really like a hero being broken and fighting back. Yep. Don't do balloons for this panel. New dialogue. So he's talking to, is that the editor he's talking to? No, he's talking to the letter, Joe Rosen. That's why they covered over the balloon there. Yeah. That pattern. Yeah, that's definitely a cutout for sure. Yeah, that's that, that's way too much work. Yeah. Melvin Potter, the Gladiator. Yep. Is this where Ben also learns his secret identity, right? 
I feel like. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've read yeah, it. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've read it, too. Like, a, just fucking hollow eyes. Yeah, that's, a, that's the idea. Yeah. She's all just shriveled up and just dying. I it's love this. Tiny waist. It's almost like charcoal or something, or he fucking laid the pencil down. One know? or the other. Yeah. This is dope. dope simple. Pencil. Simple yeah. but effective. Yeah. Well, here he comes. So it's somebody else wearing <clears throat> the Daredevil outfit. Yeah, they set up earlier that yeah. Melvin, I think Melvin made Melvin is the one that wears it, yeah. It's obviously all supposed to symbolize him fighting himself to regain control. Mm -hmm. I love the Billy Club, dude. I love that one. Everything about his design is just so good. Mm -hmm. The fights are always really good. They just, I agree. they really sell the choreography. That's what I was saying, like, Mazzuccelli, like, really, really sells it. Like, you know how sometimes somebody works with Frank Miller and they almost, like, Either they try to emulate his like style yeah. or like his layouts, but that's not the case here, and it's not the case um, with Mazzuccelli's Batman Year One either. You know, I love this dude right here. Yeah. Look at that. The embrace. So this is the penultimate chapter. There's new going after new. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So that was all just done. With color, there's no line work there. Hmm. That's where we start. We get one of the most well-known panels with the Avengers showing up. Look at this fucker. It's from Roy out of his mind. 80s, 90s action movie. Looking villain right here. Yep. Last piece of her soul she sold for a lousy shot of heroin. A lousy fix for the lousy junkie she'd become. The last piece of her. Matt. She sold Matt out to... Told the pusher that Matt is Daredevil. And the pusher sold out to Matt's enemies. Crazy, dude. She's kicking right now, too. Look at that. You can see the fucking sweat coming off her. Yeah. Even though she betrayed him, he's still saving her. God, look at this. It's so good. Yeah. I really like this panel. Well, this is really good. The silhouette of Kingpin, but yeah. like this. Next to the where she's just laying next to the costume, yeah. What a great shot, dude. Coming from the skylight. Yeah. It's a really good idea. I love I love this. Look at this. Night after night, he keeps touching the costume and pacing and frowning like a little kid who has to stay after class. Why doesn't he just put the thing on and dance across the buildings? He's like a god when he does that. He's aching for it. That's where you get that smile from. Yeah. But look, he's cleaning up, bro. He's getting ready. He's ready to get that sweet, sweet revenge. That's coming. Yeah, it's just going, it's just going this. crazy on the buildings yeah. the outside. This dude's, yeah, this dude's fucking nuts. I mean, I think he's like... He's just a writer to Later on, Captain I think there's America. like a storyline with... Um, I think he's in a Punisher or Wolverine. Well, I think it's Punisher, Punisher right? Him, yeah. Yeah, and he's just fucking... He's just psychotic, dude. Yeah. With the American flag draped across his fucking face, tattooed on his face. But I love this, dude, right here. You just see the Billy Club. You know he's back, dude. Yep. Give him a red. Boom. <laughs> so good. And there he is. Yeah. The Avengers show up. In that water tower, dude. I love this. Dedicated to Jack Kirby, this specific issue. Yeah, this definitely took place before Batman Year One, then. 86. 87 is when... I think your one takes place, right? This is right before him. Yeah. So there he comes Daredevil trying to help, trying to fight him off. Yeah. But he's fucking huge. Love this. He's roided out as fuck. Daredevil doesn't ever shy down from a fight, though. Dude. It doesn't matter who he's fighting, because look at this. I mean, you can tell like where he's going, right? Based on how he's fighting him. Yeah. He, he he's realizes to go he's, for pressure he's at a disadvantage, so he yeah. has to take him out in different ways. Right. He's not going to beat him in physical force. No. I mean, look at that. Dude. He just smacks him. Smacks the shit out of him. And here it comes. Great book, yeah. He's one of the fucking craziest fucking pages. Look at that fucking shot with Cap, dude. Amazing, yeah. Thor. Yeah. Uh, where's I like where's uh, before this? It's like he talks about a soldier with the voice that could command a god, and does. This is always been this one, is an amazing these, page. These is one of the panels that stuck out to me forever. Kind of it sums them up very quickly. Mm-hmm. Probably one of my least favorite Iron Man costumes. <laughs> You can tell, like, he's just fucking... Disappointed. Yeah, because he's, like, supposed to be... He's supposed to be like me, but he yeah. don't. Just a little cameo. See, that's cool, too. They don't really do that, either. If, if um... If the Avengers would show up in most books nowadays, it'd be the entire issue. Yeah, yeah. And this is like literally the, just a page and a half. Yeah. And they're out. And that's it. Don't need to keep expanding on it. It's still Daredevil's book. I love this. Cap yeah. just wants to know who the fuck that guy was, right? Yeah. Like, you didn't ask your employers, I mean? And this is, like, look. It's so good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, he wears a flag. I hadn't noticed. As he swan dives out of there. 
and like a cap. This is so good. It's just it's a great panel, yeah. I love that Cap comes and fucking calls out the fucking army, dude. Loyal to nothing except the dream. Oh, dope. Yeah, all his notes and stuff. This is all computer screens. Yeah. Very cool. Let's see, all the fucking pills. He's only just roided it out of his mind. <laughs> Definitely not the super soldier that Cap is, you know? Yeah. The new generation of what they want a super soldier to be. Well, that's a reflective of a lot of the 80s, yeah. of the action movies. This, this is all commentary on what the general approach was. It's all just fucking tough-ass, huge, broided-out guys. Mm -hmm. And Cap's like, I'm not, not, that's not what the point is. This is pretty cool. It's going straight through the fucking eagle. Yeah. But I love this kind of writing, because it all just makes them similar. Like, Cap's got his own guilt. Cap's got his own weight that he carries. And Matt obviously can relate to that. Mm -hmm. Just It's just different. It's the same with Spider-Man. That's one of the reasons why Peter and Matt are such good friends is that they both carry a lot of weight and they can they can see that with each other. But it's all it's just smart to have them all relate to each other in different ways. Yeah, and it's interesting because I don't think you really see Cap and Daredevil interact a lot either, right? Yeah, like, and it's usually memorable. I mean, the other one I think was like what during the Mark Wade Somni one, mm -hmm. where they get in that fight. And I think there's some stuff during like I feel like. Civil War and shit like that. Well, he that. comes to seize him because he, he, he wants Matt... A, he wants Matt to join the Avengers and there's conversations about he didn't work well with teams and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He does he's just such a good cap, too. The movement of that car. Yeah. There's Ben's story, dude. Daredevil you, lays him out right on fucking uh, Ben's desk. U.S. Army super killer. Kingpin implicated in Hell's Kitchen slaughter. So now his world's being torn apart. Mm -hmm. His eyes... Yeah, so he doesn't even, like, he comes at Kingpin, but not physically. No. He gets his revenge in, in another way. And, like, for years, they just go back and forth. Yep. I mean, this is just one instance, but. This is yeah. fucking gorgeous. Then we got some covers and stuff. Oh, a couple pages. that just the, Oh, just pencils. This, this is, is the, this is the trade I have. This is also an alternate cover for this book. Uh -huh. uh, it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive from oh. 2012, 13, 14, whenever this came out. That's super fucking hard to find. It's like 800, 900 bucks. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Oh shit! The pencils. Yeah. You got one of those reflection on the glasses. It's crazy because you're you're talking about this how he inks his own pencils, but like looking at it, you can clearly tell that there wasn't a whole lot to correct. Right. This is why we don't see a lot of corrections in the yeah. pages. This is this is more or less. And it's not done. I don't think this is blue line either. This is more or less what you end up seeing in the page. Mm -hmm. Just you know, cleaned up a little bit, but it's yeah. it's. Yeah, it's all there. Yeah, he's smiling. He's gonna beat the shit out of him. Oh man. Yeah. No, it makes me wish that we got like more Daredevil with. Miller and Mazzuccelli. Yeah. Besides just the one arc, you know? Or a cap. I would take a cap book, too. You see it's cool to see it colored this way, because this is not hey, you see how I read it, you know? Yeah. It doesn't look like this anymore. No. Just I know something, a point of contention with a lot of the, even the Batman Year One, is that the, print, the reprints don't look like they did. Yeah, that's why the Absolute Edition of Batman Year One has two versions the, There's the one that... The, cor the, the corrected one. Yeah. Corrected. Yeah. And then the one that looks more like what actually came out, which is what everybody remembers. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Dude. Yeah, this is a really dope book. I'd say it's uh, worth going to pick up, but good luck finding one. Um, but you can get the Artisan Edition. And maybe, maybe, they'll do a reprint of, of this, because I know sometimes they do reprints of the they Artisan Edition. They also do... Edition. Yeah, they do the soft cover version. The, yeah, the Artisan, Artisan, which is like... I think it's like that. Yeah. It's like that big, but yeah, this is a, a amazing story. I know we didn't really talk too much about the story, but I mean, I really just wanted to look at the art. So, but yeah, this if you can find the artist in edition, I, I highly suggest it because it's definitely worth worth seeing in some uh, in some form or another. Yep. But that's all I got on this. Uh, if you're not already following us, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Comic Lounge. Hit the subscribe button and note. And bell icons so you're notified every time a new vid goes up. And on that note, we're out.